someone who hasn't read, please read verse 3. Someone in red? <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Obata El Hakohen Asher Hie Bayamim Hahem Veamareta Veamareta El Elab he 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 got he got sorry <laughs> he got the he got the t he got the t silent schwa he got he got the t no the schwa is silent so he got t he got t isn't it both a uh, consonant he got tea. Well, there's two gimels, so technically hig, and then got tea. Then when we read, we oh. usually just read like one gimel, so he got tea. Yeah. Okay, got tea. Ha, hayom, ladonai, elohika, ki ba, bati, el, ha. Eretz, Haaretz, Asher, Nish, Ba, Adonai, La, La Abotenu, La Tet, that's me, La Nu. Great. La Nu. Great. And there just was one other place that I decided not to correct you because I didn't want to jostle your reading. But since you settled down here on Higati, I decided to jump in. This one also is not, it's not the Amarita, it's the Amarta, right? So we have a Patach, short vowel. So this is a silent schwa here, Amarta, okay? But great reading, really good. And that was a long one. <laughs> that could be three verses. So who wants, okay, let's jump in and let's translate this all together then. Okay. Ubata. Ubata. What's that mean? And you shall uh, come go, okay. to go and uh, Ubata. You shall go. Not go. Go is halach or yatsa. You will come. You're right at first. Come. You will come. And you will come. Okay. And why is it u? Why is it u and not ve? What's going on here? Why is it u? Uh, but uh, is that bump? Yes. The bump rule. Bump. Good. Okay. And why is there no dagesh in here? What happened to the dagesh? Um, but, uh, it went to it. Uh, the uh, kametz gadol became kametz gadol. No, it's not related to that. And why? Why, why is the why is the schwa gone? The schwa. The dagesh lene. I'm sorry. I said schwa. My, my brain was elsewhere. I was thinking dagesh when I said schwa. That's my fault. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Told, I misled you. So why is, okay, why is the dagesh gone? Uh, uh, it, uh, the schwa is in the, in the beginning. In the O. Oh, you're almost there. Because, because, so because of the O, right? So what's the name of the mnemonic to remember when the when the dagesh goes away? What kind of letters lose a dagesh? A weak dagesh? Um BBLs. Is that BBLs? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm giving you a hint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah, right. Yeah. I'm giving just yeah. a hint. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, okay. Big God Kifat. Big God Kifat. Okay. And again, this guy, get used to it. That's Dalit. Okay. Big God Kifat. Good. The Big God Kifat letters, they have the Dagesh Lene, right? And he goes away when he's preceded by a vowel sound, right? So that could be any vowel or a vocal schwa. Okay, good. So then, or when, okay. or end, 
you will come, you will arrive. El Hakohen. To the uh, the priest. Good. Uh, Asher. Iye. Okay, Asher. Which. Good. Yeah, which. And by the way, everybody can participate in which. the translation, right? You don't have to. But you're doing great. Okay. Or yes. whom? Probably whom, right? Okay. Yihye. What's Yihye? Um, you guys recognize Yihye? To be. Right. It's, that's right. It's from the root really? Haya. Right. It's from Haya. Haya. Right. So you're right. To be. But is this perfect or imperfect? Imperfect. Very good. Imperfect. Okay. So how are you going to translate that now? Knowing it's imperfect. Which right? will or, be. With a person, we don't usually say which, you know. We'll probably say who. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It, it's who okay, it's okay. will be. Who will be. <laughs> Good. Bayamim hahem. Uh, Bayamim hahem. Bayamim hahem. Yeah. In the days. Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah. That's, in, in the days. So you're right. Bayamim by itself. Hahem. That means in the days, doesn't it? Okay. And what does yeah. hahem mean? The them, the those. <laughs> yeah, the those. That's right. That's right. Very good. So, in the days, the those, right? <laughs> so, make that sound better in English. How's that going to sound better? And, um, who will be in the days, in those days? Yeah, very good. In those days. Good, good, good. So, the priest, the guy who will be priest in those days, right? Good. Okay. So uh -oh. Aaron, he's understanding it's not going to be Aaron anymore, right? And his sons. Okay. The Amarta alive. The Amarta alive. Amar is from say. Yeah. And you will say. Good. Ah, uh, sorry. No, that's and correct. Tama, you will say to him alive. alive. Good. Very nice. To, or some like to say unto. Mm -mm. And then. Him. Let me mark that suffix. Make sure everybody sees it. Very good. Live. The vav should be what you notice. Oh, mm -mm. oh, it's not drawing. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I tried to make it orange and it went back. <laughs> Third person, masculine, sub, sub, singular, right? So, him, unto him. Unto him. Okay. Higati hayom lashem. Do you know what higati means? Higati is from Hagad. Hagad. Nope, 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 not from Hagad. Hagata. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Hag you see the stagash? Rabbi, is it enough? Sounds like in... What? Sounds like in... Sounds like in... Lehagid baboker. Yes, 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 yes. Same verb. Yep, same verb. This is uh, Peinun. What do you say? Yes, Peinun. Someone said Peinun. Very good. It's a Peinun verb. So the verb, the verb is Nagad. 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 Nagad, right? Nagad. Okay. So Nagad means to tell. Sorry. To tell. To tell. Tell. Relate. So from this, on Passover we have what's the book called? It's the Passover Haggadah. It's a Passover Haggadah, Haggadah right? Haggadah. Yeah, it's it's a retelling, right? Like a telling of the story of Pesach, right? Is Haggadah. So that's mm -hmm. derived from this verbal root. So he got t. He got t. That's that's if in because he and yes. he Yes. And then that's uh, uh, I. I will tell. I will tell. Yeah. I tell. Yes, yes. So this is what you say. This is kind of in quotes. You can think of it as quotation marks, right? So, Bayamim hahem, Yamatayilav. So in those days, you shall say to him, meaning the Kohen, what will you say? He gati hayom ladonai lohecha. So, so I say, or I said today. Oh, hayom what's hayom? Sorry. Today, hayom today. Good today. Today. La Adonai. La Adonai. Today. I, I've said today. Oops. 
Okay, today, to Adonai, Elohecha. Adonai. To Adonai, your God, Elohecha. Yes, good. Your God. Okay. Ki Vati. Ki Vati. Uh, ba again from Bo. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, key, let's go with the basic key, meaning for key. Key, bati. Okay, so that. If or that. That. Bati, what's bati? I, I come. I came. Oh, El sorry. I came. <laughs> El Haaretz. I came unto the land. Unto the land. Great. Which. Good. Okay. Nishba. Nishba. Which Nishba. You know Nishba? Uh, uh, Nishba. To swear that's, an oath. That's. Pay an oath. Again. Make an oath, yeah? Okay, okay so the, uh, this one is actually Nifal. It's actually Nifal. Right? Nifal. Because, because the verb we already see, mm. right? We have the full verbal form. Sheen, mm -mm. bait. Ian, why is there a dog ash in the bait? Uh, What's that dog ash? What do you see there? Nifal doesn't need a dog ash um, in the second letter. Which one? What's going on there? You guys can help, right? It's all the team event this part. Someone can help her. Because of your big gut kepa. Yes. Very good, very good. So the noon here is the performative for Nifal, okay? It's telling us this is a Nifal binyan, right? And the Dagesh is mm -hmm. nothing special. The Dagesh is nothing special. He is just a Begad Kifat letter. Good, okay. Nishpa. Nishpa, who's the he? Adonai swore. Adonai. La Votenu. La Votenu. Adonai swore to your to, to our fathers. Very good. To our fathers. Yes. Ah. What happened? Okay, go back. <laughs> go back. Interesting, our notes remain, but the thing moved. Nine. There we go. And notice the new. What does new mean, guys? You translate already. That's good. But to give us unto us. Yes. To give unto us. That, that's right. So the new is us or our, right? Oh, I forgot. That's that region I can't draw in. Okay. Okay. So okay, we'll put down here new. New. Oi. <laughs> Forget it. All right. Just pretend I colorized in the new there. Okay. To our avot. Avot means fathers, right? Or ancestors. Latet. What's latet? To give. To give. To give. Wait, I can draw there now. I'm just experimenting. Oh, I can't. Okay, okay. Okay. Rabbi, may I yes. ask? That yes. was our question one time when we were studying. Uh, we were thinking that but, uh, there should be a Dagesh there since the Nun disappeared. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You would expect it there. But it's not. <laughs> it's not. I do not know why it's not in the construct <laughs> form here. But, uh, yeah, that's a very good observation. You're right. We would expect. So you guys get what she's saying? We would expect to be logical here. To be consistent, that the noon, since it's a pay noon verb, that our friend the noon, that we would see him here, right, in the form of a dagesh. That's a good, good observation. But he's not, and I don't know why it's not. Sorry. It's a nice observation, though. Yeah. Yeah. Then, Rabbi, how about that? Idea. Hold on, real I'm quick. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, Yomar, you're next. I, I, I have an idea, actually. Maybe it's because we have two tet tavs in a row, right? Maybe in ancient mm -hmm. times, it would have just been too hard to pronounce three tavs in a row, right? Because the Dagesh tells us mm -hmm. there are two tavs. So maybe it was at some time, lat-tet, lat-tet, right? lat-tet. Yeah. But that's kind of a mouthful, isn't it? 
So I bet yes. in ancient Hebrew it probably was lat tet. And then that didn't last long. Nobody wants to say that, right? Because really speech is what uh -oh. powers the development of the language. We just have grammar to try to figure it out later, right? So I, I, I bet you, I feel pretty confident this is the right answer. I bet that's what happened. And they said, I am not saying three tavs in a row. Forget this. And they dropped the one and just said latet, just for ease of pronunciation. Yes. Okay? And that's what the dog okay. is telling us anyway, right? How to pronounce it. Okay, good. Yeah, yes. I'm 90% sure that makes sense. Yay, okay. Thank you. Good question. Yomar, you had a comment? No, oh, Rabbi, no. You just answered uh, my question. And then my observation is, my observation, why is it that there is no dagesh where the preceded vowel is long? So you answer the question. You ah, okay, answer my great. question. Okay, the, It's hard to pronounce the double tate. Yeah. That's I why that there is no. Thank oh, you, Rob. Okay, great, Yofi. And, and actually, I just thought of another way to reinforce. I'm pretty sure we're correct on this because who knows what the imperative is? The imperative form. How do you say give? Give. Like ten. 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 Very ten. good. Very good. Right. Ten. But notice, it's not ten, right? Uh, it wouldn't make sense. So I think, again, this dagesh that's in there, it falls away. It's a dagesh lene in the ten. So I think it's, again, the same thing. It would have just been too hard to say t ten, right? That, that way they used to do it. So that reinforces our theory. So I think we're right. Okay, good. Mm, okay. And then Lanu? Lanu? And to us. Yeah, to us. To us. To nice. us. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Okay, any uh, comments or questions? Thank you. Rabbi Ko Rabbi comments. Yes. Rabbi comments only. Okay. Concerning, 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 uh, La Adonai Oleka to Eloheka, to Hashem your God. Yes. The, the bringer of the first fruit, the bringer, the first fruit of Bikurim. Yes. Must say to the Kohen, to Hashem your God. Yes. Uh, this implies the relation, yeah, the relationship of the relationship of God and the Kohen, which also applies to the king or the prophet. Very, very nice. Very nice. You know, what's nice about that is I'm glad you mentioned that because I actually had in my mind, I wanted to mention to you guys to point out, look, it's why is he saying Elohecha, your God? And then I spaced it out as we were doing other things. So very good. So everybody notices what Tom's talking about here. It's Elohecha. He's not selling Elohai, right? The formula that the person's supposed to yes. say is Elohecha, to your God. Yeah, so that's an interesting interesting nuance there that that's what's happening it's like it's also it's like recognizing the position of the priest as well right now we have another interesting we have an interesting comment in the Mikrot Gadol by Chizkuni Chizkuni says the reason we have this HaKohen Asher Yichyeh Bayamim the the priest who will be um, on duty at that time is because he's trying he, Chizkuni thinks that Hashem is trying to prevent uh, some kind of uh soft what would you call it uh soft corruption right so for example he's he's saying maybe there's a cohen who you know and you like right like you know different people have different personalities right maybe there's a guy he's really good looking or he's eloquent or something like this and that's the one you want to give your 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 your, your first fruits to right and so his is saying, or maybe he's even your relative. Maybe you're, you know, maybe like uh, your daughter married into his family or something, right? You married him. So his is saying the reason that Hashem has added this Asher uh, Yichye Bayamim Hahem, who is there at that time, is so that you can't do this kind of soft corruption, right? You don't get to direct your gifts to that guy. Instead, it's whoever Hashem happens to have there at that moment. Right? Because you have many priests officiating, right? And so it just kind of depends when you're there who you get, right? So this is to keep the people from being biased towards someone based on their looks or based on whatever reason. He's in the office of Kohen at that time. When you brought your first fruits, he's the one who deserves it. Yeah. Okay. Or, or maybe you might decide, wait, that one's a rich priest. You know, he's got lots of stuff. I'm not going to give to him. Nope. Hashem might still want him to have it. But if he's the one who, Yihye Bayamim Hahem, then that's the guy that gets it. So that's Chiz Kuni's take on it. Okay? Any other comments on this verse? Very nice discussion, guys. Good observation. Okay. Uh, by the way, Yomar put in the notes for Hamakom, more on that, Genesis chapter 28, verse 11, if anyone's listening to this later and you're not seeing our chat. 
Hey, you did it. This is the end of this part. Watch the next one. To support our projects, you can donate at www.patreon.com slash Hebrew Literacy. You can do a single donation or sign up for monthly donations. 